All right, so I'm going to be reviewing these uh, about four Bibles. Hopefully today I'll knock out four Bibles. I've got a lot of Bibles I need to review and catch up on, and then some other ones I'll be reviewing as well. I'm going to start with, I guess, the oldest translation, besides, of course, King James and a few others, but the oldest translation I have with me at the moment. And this is the 1901 American Standard Version by Prolific Industries. Um, and this is a reference edition. Um, now, when you open it, if you get this Bible, I think it's about $67 on Amazon, you're going to get uh, two of these bookmarks, and it'll have quotes from the Bible. I'm sure they have different ones. Psalm 105, and then uh, Ephesians 1-2. But uh, it's a nice little thing. They don't have... Uh, it's just a, a hardback. Um, one thing I love about this Bible, this is a perfect Bible to rebind, but it is huge. It's like uh, two and... Uh, over two and a half inches uh, thick, but the paper is like 80 GSM, so it's really, really uh, thick paper, really good paper uh, at that too. But um, you do have, um, you know, gold stamping up here. You have the gold line at the top, and you have uh, these gold lines at the bottom. Prolific Industries, American Standard, Holy Bible slash references. Um, I, I I like the 1901 American Standard. I think it's a good translation. Now more for the patristic text and uh, the and the and the TR text, but the, I mean critical text Bibles and stuff like that um, don't don't bother me at all. Reading them, in fact, I use them all the time, um, and they're great great translations. So this uh, says the Bible containing the Old New Testaments translated out of the original tongues, being the version set forth. AD 1611 compared uh, with the most ancient authorities and revised. Now, let's talk about the Revised Standard Version because it goes on to say newly edited uh, by the American Revision Committee of AD um, 1901, the Standard Edition. And then it's republished by Pro uh, Prolific Industries. I'm not going to go real thorough with these. I just want to give you an idea because people, if they want an ASV, they know what they're looking for. But it does have your center column references. Then he has alternative readings and other notes and stuff like that on the outside perimeters. But if you look at this paper, it's just a super high quality paper as far as how opaque. And the print is just amazing. Like, And it's it's so consistent. I don't think I've ever seen a Bible. Uh, maybe the Cambridge large print, as far as the consistency of the ink it lays down, is as consistent. Those are the two most consistent Bibles I've seen. This is very consistent. I cannot find any differences in the consistency of the ink it lays down. But these pages are really thick, um, but uh, by no means bad at all. Um, so you can see here, just like what I was saying, um, here's Job, and you see all the, uh, the center references, and then alternate translations and things like that. It's a very very thick Bible, but it does lay it does lay open, which is very surprising. Uh, it is it is a sewn binding. You can see the signatures here. What I'm thinking about doing is probably put some art gilding on here and throw some ribbons in it, or I might uh, I probably won't. I'll see about sending it off, getting getting some gold on there and stuff. I might do that in the future with a, a new just buy another one and have that done if I really feel like I need to do that. But some art gilding and you know just put some red or and some ribbons. But uh, I'm just blown away by how consistent uh, this is. It's just very consistent, very readable. And to have a 1901 newly printed on 80 GSM paper, that that is just amazing. And I'm sorry it's going out of focus. I'm not sure why. Um, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. And then I, I believe after the Old Testament... For the Old Testament, let me get there for you. Yeah, it, it's going to have an um, an appendix of uh, let's see here list of particulars in which the revised Old Testament of eighteen eighty five five differs from the present edition. So it's going to give you the difference of those from the the nineteen oh one or the um, the earlier revised version to the American edited. American uh, standard version. And it's going to do that in the New Testament too. I think it does it after the New Testament. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, it does. So you're going to have that after Revelation. It is all black letter text. Very readable. I like the way this is laid out. Let me zoom that in there. This is really crisp. Really crisp. It's done really well. I, I, I haven't looked in the prolific industries. I don't know what they're about, but they're big on the 1901 ASV for some reason. So uh, I'll have to look more into that. But you got your appendix. Then you're going to have index to Nelson's Bible Atlas. Now, this is the only downside, I think, to this Bible, which, I mean, it's not a big deal to me. I, the, the maps kind of look like the old local church Bible publisher maps. They kind of are faded a little bit, kind of hard to... to. Oh, they're not too bad. They're just a little bit faded, light, but they're not bad. And then you're going to have your maps. Uh, let's see, I think you have 12 maps. Yeah, you have 12 maps. Um, so this is thicker than this sheet. This is probably the same thickness as the map. And then you're, you're at the end. But it's, it's nice. I, I love this Bible. I, I was really surprised just how well this thing was done. So uh, it really uh, threw me for a loop. Like, $67 and you can get a brand new 1901 ASV. And that's awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just did really quick. But if you want to look, there's the signatures. I did it really quick just because I'm trying to get more of these reviews out. And I'm sure I'll go and, and do a lot of comparisons with these in the future or maybe do a fuller review. After I'm more uh, equipped with the knowledge behind it. Of course, they use the, the Hebrew Old Testament where I would personally uh would um go with more of the readings of um the septuagint the greek and i'll get into reasons for that maybe some other time but as an orthodox christian that's what i would go with so but this is a great translation this is considered by many the most literal english translation uh from 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 that era and to tell today it's more it's gonna be more literal than your king james uh, don't get me wrong, it's not far off. King James could be very literal as well. But it's it's more literal than the King James. But like I said, it's going to come from that critical text. But, great Bible. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I, I'm sure I'll be doing a more thorough uh, video on this Bible in the future. If not, I'll be comparing it and maybe make some explanations on choices they made, things like that. But until next time, good day. God bless.